Hi friends, I'm recording this video uh, based upon the request from the American subscriber. Um, the subscriber wrote to me saying that it's very difficult to understand uh, on both sides, Americans as well as Indians to understand uh, what they are speaking or what exactly the culture and all and uh, requested to enlighten those aspects. Um, like we are Indians, very intelligent, very smart, very ignorant about so many things until we enter ninth grade in India schools. From then the teachers and uh, uh, homes, temples, churches, mosques, everywhere, whatever you say, they start preaching caste. What is caste? So ma many people, they are not aware what is caste. Caste is one million times dangerous than racism. Racism is just a skin color. Caste is uh, ill-treating the other human being as a sub-human. Uh, we have five major castes, caste A, B, C, D and E. A is superior, B is like that. Okay, And we have 25,000 different sub-castes. So you can imagine how ill-treat, how much we hate. Love is missing, that is the basic point that's why i receive every day telugu speaking people and nice non reliable indians from america and india and then few of the hindi speaking and indians across the globe are writing not all but majority very few americans who hates h one b writing and who hates h one b understanding empathize the h one b situation that's what and for example there are 30 states in india and 50 states here each state guy come here and uh, recruit their own state guys hail from India. So then what is America's EOC? So it was completely violated, destroyed. The same way with the cash. Cash here guy hire only cash here guys. Forget about Americans, man. Uh, we are completely destroyed America's EOC. So if you are Indian watching this video, don't get uh, hurt or uh, don't get your blood boil. I'm speaking truth for the sake of the world. Initially, I thought of uh, not to record videos and stop for a while, almost a year. But I'm getting requests. That's the reason I'm making video on the truth. So if you think I'm against India, then you are against humanity. You are uh, a terrorist. A terrorist is better than an economic terrorist. You are an economic terrorist if you think I'm against India. I'm speaking, I'm not against human beings. I'm speaking for humanity and speaking for the truth. There are two things you need to note in the universities in India and here. Universities in India, they taught, they teach completely about caste, racism, so many things, not good things. That's why students fail to get jobs there. They're all uh, fleeing India to 52 nations. Everywhere, Indians, they are cheating the fellow Indians. That is another most tragic thing. Guys from Australia, various Singapore, they call and then they express how the local Indians cheating them. So that is what I'm just consolidating the emails I received and explaining my journey of experiences. That is one. Point two is universities there and here utterly fail because 20 million Americans displaced here. I'm not just supporting blindly them. What I'm saying is I'm fighting for H1B rates. At the same time, 55% of local graduates only getting jobs. Rest of them are not getting. So the media here also publishing false news right so the next point is um, whoever come for studies or uh, h1b they don't like to go back to india because of the poverty given conditions and iits iams those who studied and the taxpayers cost also or reaching india and settling down here it's not wrong aspiring to any nation western nations it's good in fact but in, during the process we are allowing the crime we don't know why we work 24 cross 7 for Indian managers and Indian companies like that. So we don't question them. Whereas Americans, the law protects them. But now Americans are displaced and locals are not getting jobs. But international students with fake and felony, they get their jobs. How? So at the same time, H1B rules are violated by all Indian links and all companies. So nobody is coming forward to speak the, the depression, trauma, whatever. Ours mentioned is not mentioned in their paycheck. So these are the things I found and then I made almost 350 videos and my experiences about H1B life in America and then uh, other almost 900 videos I made. My haters start targeting me uh, with filthy words in Telugu and uh, various uh, languages. Then I uh, 
close some of my children videos which i made it on education part like education comparison between india and usa uh, unfortunately my viewers miss those videos because i my haters target me beyond that level they read so much uh, bad and fraud to me so that is what americans have to understand uh, what's going on here they should not sit blindly i'm not uh, raising any war i'm just saying this is what happening your kids don't have future here unless you realize what's happening here at the same time i'm not against india uh, many h1b are getting sorry many h1b are uh, international students are getting cheated by indian employers here they are not reporting it they have to report they have to confront thank you for watching this video see you in the next video h1b@usa.com is my email id send me any questions Thank you for watching this video.